happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because one of my favorite nail brands reached out to me wanted me to review some new products that they have out on the market and so i'm super excited to bring to you guys some new tipex nails now this type of nail has been floating around for a couple of months now i feel like and it's the tipex nails where it has like the really nice apex and things like that needles just came out with their version of tipex nails so i'm excited to show you guys what this is looking like and so this is the box that it comes in it says tipex instant apex innovative pre-building nail tips and it says sculpted acrylic tips and nail glue set find your bowl create the unique style nail nirvana uh get unexpected surprises at home diy manicure so this is the box i always love beetles packaging packaging super cute um and so this comes with a three watt lamp looks like and I believe it comes with those nail tips, a uh, base gel, and a nail glue gel. This here tells you the instructions on how to use it. If you guys are new to doing gel -like nails, you'll definitely want to go through and read those instructions to make sure you're doing proper application. And uh, yeah, this is the Beatles saying, be, be bold, be you, be Beatles. Um, and yeah, this is really recent. Uh, looks like they manufactured it here back in March of this year. So very, very new to the market. Excited to be showing you guys this product. So let's pop it open and see what we got, okay? Nice, very, very nice. All right, so this is what we got here. So again, this here's the instructions. It tells you how to uh, use uh, the lamp as well as how to apply the nails. So you definitely wanna make sure you go through and read that once again. Um, let's see, oh nice, okay. So it comes with the charger here, let's see. And it's a universal charger, not a USB-C. So we got that. Okay, this here is the lamp. I am so excited that Beatles has uh, upgraded their lamp. So this, I think, is the, it says nail in, nail, nail in, light on. So I think this is the auto sensor lamp. And let me see. And I do still have the original Beatles lamp. So this was my very first introduction to doing Gel X nails. Um, and it was it was a Beatles kit that I bought two, three years ago. I'll leave that video linked down in the description box below so you guys can check it out. But this is the original design of their nail lamp. And it was one where it was a touch sensor. So you just press it to turn it on and off. And this is the upgraded version of that lamp where um, you just put your hand in and it, it senses it. So I think that's really cool. I can't wait to plug this in and give it a go um it does look like the original lamp though was usb-c so i wish they had it kept the same uh outlet but yeah that's what the two lamps look like um i like the upgraded design looks like there's a little bit more space for you to get your hand in and out as well so i love that they did that um it also comes with nail glue and it is uh 20 grams so 0 0.7 ounces of the nail glue and let's take a look at how thick it is Oh, very nice. Nice and thick, which I really like. And I do like the Beatles nail glue. I use um, their other nail glue. I've used the one in the bottle. Um, I don't think I've actually used any of their nail glue um, that comes out of a tube, so I'll be excited to give this a try. It also comes with their base gel, which is really awesome. Um, I'm a big fan of the Beatles uh, base and top coat, so I never have any issues with it. It's a nice viscosity. Um, very easy to use and manicures last a really long time when you're using this stuff so Beatles products they're tried and true for me absolutely love them excited to see them coming out with some new items comes with the cute little buffer here so that's cute I like that oh actually it's a file okay so it's a file on one side buffer on the other that's really awesome too because that's really what you need when you're doing these type of gel x nails you'll file the tip of the nail when you're done and then you'll buff the surface so that it's uh so that you can paint on top so that's nice that they included that and then last but not least are the actual nail tips so let's take a look at these so this is what the nails are looking like and i'll put this off to the side yeah these are thick oh wow oh these thick thick okay very cool so let's take i'm gonna just take one off here give you guys an up close of it so this is definitely like no other nail tip that i have seen before so you see how thick they that apex is how high that apex is that's very nice so these here are some full cover tips that i have and the apex is definitely not there which you know i don't mind but it's cool to see that this one has one that's already built in that is 
phenomenal. It's nice that the inside of it is already matte pre-etched, meaning that you don't have to go in and etch that surface. And y'all, these are not even trying to bend at all whatsoever. Like these are some really, really strong nails. Wow. And yeah, that's what it would look like. I should have not had any nails on for this video, but that is what it is looking like. It's about the same length of the nails I have on. Like it's so thick, it almost kind of, it's almost like it's a magnifying glass. Let's see. Hey, y'all see that? How it kind of makes the words look a little bit bigger? It's almost like a magnifying glass. Like, that's some really thick acrylic, y'all. So, yeah, these nail tips are really good. Very high quality. I, you definitely won't have any issues with bending or breakage of them. Um, I feel like it'll fit my nail bed pretty good. Um, right now, I have on a nail tip. And this is still almost fitting sidewall to sidewall for me. So I have a feeling that these are going to fit me just fine. I'm going to show you guys how to apply these toward the end of the video. So definitely stay tuned to that. But these look like some really awesome nail tips. So I'm really excited to give these a try. Um, and really quick, I want to plug in this nail lamp here and show you guys the, the motion sensor on off feature. And I will say that the cord is pretty long. That is really nice. I love when nail lamps when companies come out with the long cords. All right, so I'm gonna plug the cord in back here. Like so. Definitely an on off motion sensor light. So you just put your hand here and it turns on. So that's awesome. So once you put the nail on, it's nice it has this little flat base up here too. So you can put your nail on and then slide it right underneath here and it turns right on and cures. So that is really cool. I love that companies are starting to realize we need motion sensor, okay? Like that is what we need to make life easier. So that is what the lamp is looking like, okay? They were also kind enough to send me over some gel polishes. Um, I have been eyeballing this gel polish collection for about six months now, so I'm really excited to give this a go. Um, it's called the Superstar Collection, and um, it's six gel polishes that are reflective, but they're neon reflective polishes. And so let's take a quick look at how all of these are. So this here is the whole collection here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys them up close. So the first color here is C302. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how beautiful this green is. So these are all reflective. These are neon reflective polishes and these are absolutely gorgeous. Doesn't it look like they're beautiful little green diamonds all up in here? Oh my God, I love it. I'm so excited for this collection. Next we have C303. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, y'all, these are so beautiful. That blue is absolutely stunning. All of them look like they have many diamonds in them. I'm in love. Next we have C304. Oh, absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful neon green reflective color. Super cute. C305. Wow, look at that neon pink. OMG, absolutely gorgeous. C306, oh, really beautiful, dazzling purple color here. And then last but not least, we have C307, which, oh, yeah, gee, you guys, these colors are just so beautiful. All right, now let's go ahead and get them swatched out. C302, oh, wow, it's just so pretty. I am in love. It's really nice and opaque. Oh, these reflectives are giving me life right now, y'all. I cannot wait to do a nail design with these. So beautiful. C303, absolutely beautiful. Just the formula is absolutely amazing. I love it. So nice. Yeah, this is really nice. Very pretty. C304, really nice, vibrant orange. Wow, gorgeous. C305, wow, really beautiful pink. Oh my goodness. Y'all, these colors, the pigment is everything. They're actually more pigmented than I thought they would be, especially with them being neon colors. Very, very pretty. That's one coat of coverage, you guys. One coat of coverage. You can't even see through it. One coat. Love it. C306, absolutely gorgeous. And a really nice, thick viscosity, too. I love these polishes, oh my gosh. Super cute. 
C307. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this would have been perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Oh my gosh. So pretty. It's like money green. I absolutely love it. Gorgeous. I'm going to do two coats and I'll be back. This is what the colors look like all swatched out, you guys. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. This here is the C302, which is this really beautiful lime green. Oh, it's so beautiful. C303, which is this really gorgeous uh, reflective blue color. C304, which is this really gorgeous uh, reflective orange. C305 is this really gorgeous neon pink. Oh, these specks in here are just so cute. C306, which is just really gorgeous reflective purple. I mean, I'm just in love with all the colors in this collection, y'all. Then we have C307, which is just really beautiful money green reflective polish. So I do want to show you guys what these look like under the light. Alrighty, so this is what these colors look like with the reflect. Oh, MG. I don't even think my phone is even doing it justice, but how gorgeous are these colors, you guys? absolutely love it i mean stunning absolutely stunning i can't wait to do a set with these i'm gonna go ahead and pick out the colors that i want to use for my set and we're gonna get into a look okay okay happy people i am back and my nails are all sized out so i'm getting ready to show you guys how to apply them and when you do size out your nails you definitely want to make sure you go um, sidewall to sidewall which these nails fit me perfectly sidewall to sidewall you see there's no extra nail hanging over the sides so these are going to fit just nicely and another thing I like about these nails is that it's already pre-etched so you don't have to go through that step of pre-etching the nail tips um, I think the original tip X kit does not have it pre-etched so I like that Beatles took the time um, to um, etch out the inside of the nails saving us one step in the process so I'm gonna go ahead and start the application and I'm gonna use this Beatles uh, nail glue uh, for the application and I do have my little mini cure LED light as well so I'll bring that in as needed um, I will say to um, the instructions uh, state that you should put down a foundation gel first. Um, I'm going to pop these off. I'm just doing this for demo purposes. So if you want longevity of your nails, definitely make sure you go in, you do proper prep, make sure you file shape, buff the nails, do a primer, dehydrator, etc. To get them to last the longest, I'm going to skip those steps because I'm want i going to pop them off uh, literally right after this video because I do have to go to work. So um, I'm going to go in with my Nail Reserve Peel Off Base Coat and apply it to all of the nails. Um, I am gonna first push back my cuticles though. Let me at least do that. Push back my cuticles here, just to get the most natural looking, you know, nails possible. So I'm just gonna go through and do that really quick. All right, perfect. Normally I would dehydrate the nail bed, but again, I'm gonna need to pop off as soon as possible. So I'm gonna just leave it as is. But I'm going to apply my peel off base coat to all the nails and then cure for 60 seconds. Put in cure. Okay, so now that that's been cured, I'm going to go in with application. So again, I do have my little nail lamp here. I think I want to try to use that as a base um, for applying my nail. I haven't tried that in the past, but I think I want to try that out. Um, and I want again, one of the things I love about this lamp is that it's motion sensitive. So applying your nails is going to be like really easy because you can go right in and then it senses that your nail is under there. So I'm going to take this nail glue and. I'm gonna apply it to the inside of the nail. I'm gonna do probably three little dollops here, kind of like I did the last one. So I'll do one, two, three, and this should be enough for the adhesion of the nail. And I wonder, well, we'll see. So what you'll wanna do is you'll take the nail tip here, you'll get close to the cuticle and allow the product to work its way down. That was just enough. So then I'll take it underneath my lamp and cure. Well, that was easy. 
And that was perfect application. Look at that. How quick and easy. Just enough product. Yeah, that was really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next nail. So again, you'll take three dollops and add it to the inside of the nail. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, okay. And then you'll go to the cuticle, slide back, and then work your way down. I am curious that if I release Will it stay in place? And it does for the most part. Okay. There is a little bit of spillage on the side, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe that up. Like so. I do think they made this uh, a little bit differently, which is awesome. So again, I'll just press down and get it back in place where I want it. And then cure. Perfect, that's what the second nail is looking like. Repeat the same process. One, two, three. I love this little lamp too. It makes life so much easier. So again, you'll go here. I kind of press it down towards the middle of the nail first and then bring my way back to the cuticle. Allow the product to work its way down. If there's any spillage, I'll clean it up before curing. So I'm just gonna clean that off my side while it's really quick. So I'm gonna press out the rest of the product, get out the air bubbles, and then cure. Now I'll go ahead and repeat that process one more time with the pinky. And again, I'll go in with just I'll go in with just two dollops this time, and then again you take the nail. Bring it back to the cuticle, allow the product to work its way down, and then cure under the light. Alrighty, so this is what the nails are looking like after they have been applied. And this is that side profile of that apex. Holy moly. And this is the side profile of that apex. I mean, it looks amazing. I just, I really like that more and more nail companies are understanding the importance of having an apex um, in the nails. Like it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, you see how it goes from um, the cuticle area. You got a nice little apex and then it goes on out to the tip of the nail. It looks beautiful. Um, again, nails really nice, strong, sturdy. Um, yeah, loving this application for sure. Um, yeah, it's just gorgeous. And the C curve on these is really nice as well. I wanna give a little attention to that. Very, very beautiful. So I am gonna go ahead and shape the nails just a smidge. Um, so this did come with the kit. This is the file slash buffer. And then I'm just gonna file off that little tab that most you know press on nails have. So I'll go ahead and file that really quick. Give it a nice crisp edge. And with the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and buff the, the surface of the nail. And I like that they included a curved one because that'll let you get nice and close to the cuticle area. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff the surface of the nail. And that's just gonna allow for gel polish to be applied without any peeling. And again, that curve fits perfectly into that groove of the nail, cuticle area. Alrighty, so this is what they're looking like after they've been file shaped and buff. Man, this is so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the nails with some alcohol, just to remove any dirt and debris. Beautiful. And I'm gonna go in with application. So I did decide to go in with these two colors from Beatles. I'm gonna go in with C304, which is the, this color I've already applied to my thumb. Then I'm also gonna go in with a C302. And I'm gonna apply that to my middle and index fingers. So, I'm sorry, to my middle and ring finger. So yeah, y'all, let's get to applying. Ah, these colors are so gorgeous, oh my gosh, I love them.
Northern Care. This is what the nails are looking like after two coats of polish and oh my gosh, I'm loving the Apex Steel and I'm loving these glitter polishes. I'm a huge fan of beetle polishes. In case y'all don't know, half my collection is beetles and their polishes are amazing. This set is so cute so far. So I did decide that I want to go in with a little bit of bling just to jazz up this set. I do have this like neon bling box here. So um, yeah, I'm going to use that spice up the set and I do already have my gem placement here on this palette so I'm gonna go ahead and put the orange bling on the green nails and the opposite color bling on the orange nails so let's get to placing y'all I was trying to decide if I wanted to just use the nail glue because I do like it it's a thicker consistency but um, they also have uh, rhinestone glue gel so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this just to go ahead and get some use out of it um so the heart nails so i am going to apply the rhinestone glue just here to the center of the nail to give space for that heart okay and then just a little bit here at the cuticle area all right and I'm going to do the same on this nail here. I guess I'll do the cuticle area first. Like so. And a little bit of this product does go a long way. I'm going to do just the dot right here. Okay. And that's going to be for the heart. Alright. I'm going to go in with top coat right on top of that. And apply that to all the nails. I'm gonna go ahead and place these this heart bling on here. Place that like that. Put my little kind of cuticle bling right here. I'm just gonna move it where I want it to be. Perfect. And I'm going to use my little flash cure light to cure. And that's perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other nail. That's cute and go ahead and cure. That is super cute. So next I'm gonna go in with top coat on the other nails and just apply some slight cuticle bling and then we'll get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how this Manny turned out. It is perfect for the summertime, you guys. It's giving those super vibrant, super bright, and super electric uh, summer vibes. I'm loving how this set turned out. But yes, I am loving how this set turned out. And as y'all can see, that Apex is really cool. You can't see it as much now that I've added like bling and stuff, but I mean, you can still see that apex really gives the nails a really nice shape and again i love that more and more uh, nail companies are coming out with these uh, nail tips they have that pre-built in apex because that's really important when it comes to the structure of the nail to ensure there's no breakage um and, and to ensure that um you know you're able to wear your nails at a long length length safely and so yeah man i'm loving how the apex looks it turned out really beautiful which i think about my summer mani my spring mani um i definitely was in the mood for some nice vibrant colors show you guys the flash look at how cute these are don't they look like little diamonds on the nails oh my gosh especially that green i love it wow super cute Final thoughts here. I think that this system is really great. It definitely does put me in the mind of um, the uh, Tipex system. Um, the nails are nice, strong, sturdy. Definitely feel like acrylics. Feel like I just went and got my nails did. You know, so 
I'm not mad at that. And yeah, it was super easy to apply as you all can see. I do like the nail glue that they included in the kit. Um, I think that it's different from their other nail glue. Um, I do have their nail glue in the bottle, which used to be one of my absolute faves. Um, but now that I've tried so many other nail glues, I noticed that it is a little bit more um, runny. So I guess just depending on your preference, you know, you can pick and choose, but I like that they came out with this formula in a tube that's a little bit more uh, of a thicker consistency which keeps the nail in place when you're um, trying to do cleanup and when you're going in to cure. And I love too the fact that they include a, a motion sensor lamp. I do have their old lamp like I showed you guys in the beginning um, and you had to remember to turn it on so with this motion sensor you don't have to remember to do that which I absolutely love. More companies need to come out with um, motion sensor um, flash cure lamps because they're very very helpful so yeah I hope y'all enjoyed the review I am loving how my nails turned out turned out super cute y'all know I'm a big fan of Beatles Beatles is bae for me okay and I do have a discount code on this product so in case you guys are interested in getting it and getting it at a discounted price I am going to leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below all the products that I use here today can be found on Amazon so I'm gonna link that down in the description box so that you guys can get your hands on it but um, definitely 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 recommend this Beatles they never disappoint me I've, I've pretty much have everything Beatles and I can't say that I've once been disappointed with their products so yeah um, this is a tried and true brand for me so I would highly recommend it I hope you all enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts on my mani do you like it is she cute or what and um, let me know if you all have tried any other tips Tipex um, systems. Again, I've tried the original Tipex system. I am going to leave that full review down in the description box below, and I definitely think these compare very well to it. Let me know if you all would like to see me do a video comparing the original Tipex to the Beatles version of the Tipex. Let me know down in the comments below. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!